Now that everything is patched, let's go into live and look at different ways that we can turn on our channels. Now that you've patched your show file, the first thing you probably want to do is a channel check to make sure that everything is up and running properly. To do this, we need to be back in live and let's start at channel one. So the syntax for this is channel one, pick a level, I'm gonna choose full, but you can choose any level you like. And then chan check, which is soft key five, enter. Now we can use our next and last keys to cycle through our rig. This will adhere to any flexi state you're currently in. So pay attention to your flexi. Notice we jumped over channel 10, which is unpatched. So channel check will automatically skip channels that don't have anything patched into them. Feel free to check out your entire rig. I'll use the clear button to end our channel check. I can also check by address. Similar syntax, I wanna use our dimmer address button. One, select a level, I'll use 50% here. Enter, and I can next and last through my addresses. Address check does not pay attention to flexi states as those are channel specific. Note if you get to moving light parameters, you may be moving your pan or tilt or things with the lamp off. So just keep that in mind as you're running through your addresses. Again, we can press clear to end that. Now would be a great time to save our show file. Anytime I have unsaved show file data, I'm gonna get an asterisk next to my show title up at the top center of my screens. So that's a quick indicator to me that I haven't saved and I probably should. Let's take a look at how to do that. We need to be in our browser. So if we're not there already, press your displays button. I can click my file caret here and I'm gonna say save. Yes, I really want to save. The default show file name is creatively show file. I can clear that out by pressing my label button and I can type our new file name here. Press enter. The save shortcut is if I hold shift and press update, that will save my show file from anywhere in the desk. If I wanna to save to a different location or change my file name, I'll need to use save as. So we can go back into our browser, displays, save as. For example, I might wanna use a thumb drive. And I can save my show file on that thumb drive. I will point out that using shift update will always save to the console's hard drive. Anytime you wanna to save to an external drive, such as a thumb drive, you will need to use save as.